Hi, my name is Toshio Saka. I'm a Japanese indie filmmaker and also I practice uh, Yaido and Aikido and also Aiki Jiu Jitsu. Um, today, uh, from now on this in this series, I'd like to talk about uh, Miyamoto Musashi and his Gone in the Show. His Gone in the Show is a very famous uh, the strategy and the battle of, uh, combat scroll that's most widely read for everywhere in the world. Even even you don't, you don't attend any martial arts, you still know, <coughs> many people still know about Miyamoto Musashi and his scroll going in the show. <coughs> so, this time, uh, in this series, I'd like to talk about my understanding of going in the show, which is very different, sometimes it's very different from the others. Of course, there are many different theory or understanding of, go of going in the show, but I'd like to t talk about uh, my understanding from the an aspect of as a martial artist or a budoka, you know. And also, there's a and there's some ref ref reference I used uh, to study about Gorin the show, and I put the down below on the link uh, about he. They have a great research and an understanding of Gorin the show. It's in Japanese, but I still link, put the link down below. The Gone in the Show does not exist in original. It only exists in only uh, copies. You know. and before, because it's duplicated so many times, sometimes the meaning has been changed many, you know, many times through going through. So there's no right Gone in the Show. You can find any cross or you could guess that that might be the closest Gone in the Show from the original, but the, it, still there's no original the skull it's duplicated so you can be sure and also it's written in Japanese uh, all Japanese which not uh, which even Japanese people today cannot read or understand you know anyway so which means you know what especially this is for the, the English speakers to the wall whatever you previously know about the Gorin show is the understanding of the translator and which even the translator would not would never know about the, <clears throat> the, the old Japanese way. So, which means it could be, it could be any understanding. You know, there is no right or correct. I mean, even if you understand all Japanese perfectly, it's still your understanding. You know, so there is no right or correct. So this is just in this series. This is just I'm talking about. I'm going to talk about my understanding and which might be very different from what you understanding and neither one is right or both of them are correct both of us are correct so unless and the only the only way you you can be sure or i can be sure is ask musashi directly which is impossible so just please understand you know i'm not going to fight or argue with other understanding i'm just going here you know i just want to talk about my understanding so Please understand that, and you can talk about this. You can discuss about your understanding on your comment. That's fine. So, please, you know, please understand that. Before I'm going to introduce about the translation or understanding of the God in the show, I need to talk a little bit about the, uh, the background of the God in the show. First of all, God in the show is not the official title of his scroll. It was named after uh, many years later. So um, in the Meiji period, which is right after the fall of the shogunate, you know, which is the end of the samurai era and uh, the time when the modern, Jap modern Japan started, then people went translated his scroll and he, he the entire Gorin no Show. Before that, during Edo period, which is the time when the Musashi wrote and, uh, his scroll, it was called Heiho Gokan, which means the combat scroll, uh, uh, five volumes, five scrolls of combat skills. Oroa, Chi, Sui, Ka, Fu, no Gokan. I'm sorry, Chi, Sui, Ka, Fu, Ku, the go, no Gokan, which means the five scrolls of earth, water, fire, wind, and space. That was the that was the name of Gorin the show during the period. So Gorin so Gorin the show is not official name. 
then why people start calling it Gorin no Shog? Gorin is the kind of the typical the tombstone style in all period. You know, I, I'm gonna put some sample of the Gorin, the stone stone tomb, uh, to, uh, stone stone <coughs> stone tombs. So which means, uh, and this one is called each stone is called Chi Sui Ka Fu Ku and the combined structure with that. So that's co called Gorin, Gorin no To. Um, it's very important to understand when Musashi wrote this uh, scroll or Gorin no Shou, he was just about to die. Well, he, it was the end of his career. He was already 60 and he was thinking about this might be the, the last scroll. So it's gonna be like the last letter for him. So he put those words on his on his scroll as his own grave. So that's why he used the Gonin the Gonin titles and for each scrolls to say this is my last word. This is my grave. So that that was the, the I think that was the Musashi's the purpose of put those Gonin title on his scroll. And later people just put those Gonin the show because it's more catchy, you know, I think, in the major period, maybe people people wanted to say about Musashi's scroll, hey for Gokan, it's, it's not very catchy, so maybe they changed, they put the Gorin on his scroll, who knows. <laughs> Musashi wrote his Gorin no show when he was 60, it was time in 1643, October 10th, it's very specific, specific, specified. However, in the summer of 1644, he became very sick and I don't think he could really write well. So, <clears throat> maybe he was, he was asking his students or his their friend to maybe ask when he, he speak and as he speak he wrote. Or maybe he just write, but it was, the process was very slow, I guess. So, in in May of 1644, Musashi died, and before he died, he gave his scrolls to his students, Terao uh, Matanojo, um, and he died. But I'm sure he, when he gave his scroll, it was not uh, completed. It was more like a draft. Maybe some of pop was in the finished, but I'm not. I'm not sure. He was completely satisfied with his own writing, but he was already know that he's not he's going to die. So maybe he gave those draft scroll to tell. Uh, <clears throat> Musashi was 60 in 1643, so which means he might have been uh, he he was born in 1584. I'm not miscalculating it. You know, in Japan all the time, uh, our age, our age counting start from one, not from zero. So is he he must has he must has uh, he was born in 1584, which is the end of the samurai period. It's samurai war period, I would say. In Japanese time, it's Sengoku period. You know, when the many the the daimyos, the feudal lords fought for the, the, the experiments, you know, so which means there's lots of lots of war and it was almost going to end. In, in 1582, the, uh, the, strong, the strongest the daimyo and the famous daimyo, Oda Nobunaga has been murdered, uh, assassinated by his own uh, samurai, uh, Akechi Mitsuhide. And, Hideyoshi took over his position and he was just about to be conquered all Japan. But still there are lots of lots of war. So he he went through all those war periods when he was very young. So which means he went through so many real battlefield or battles in combat, you know. So he must have experienced a lot of lot of the real the fighting, you know. I'm sure he faced many deaths, or his own deaths or his enemies' deaths. So he's very, very sure about what the real the fighting is on the battlefield. And the goal in the show is pretty much based on his understanding or his experience 
how he win or how he survive and you know based on his you know his experience through the battle so that's the goal in the show mm. and also this time you know many not just the Musashi but many other sword masters uh, like uh, Yagyu Sekishusai uh, the founder of Yagyu Shinkagiru or his teacher the Kamizumi Isenokami the founder of Kagiru well t the time a little bit goes and uh, earlier but and uh, Tsukahara Bokuden, he mastered the uh, Katori Shintoryu and founded, uh, established uh, uh, Kashima Shintoryu. So those ki those famous the Japanese soul st stars still lived, uh, still practiced today. Is it was and it was also born on this period. So there is not just a war period, but many samurai master, uh, soul masters, uh, you know, exist and train at the same time. That's the how the Musas live. That's the time when the Musas live. And then go back to the time when he he wrote the Goryu show in 1643 to 1645. It was very very peaceful time. And you know, around uh, 16 uh, uh, 1600 uh, and the Tokugawa Ieyasu, who is the winner of the single period, he established his own shogunate on, on his government in Edo. And after that, there was no war. Um, still, uh, there was the Toyotomi family was still live, but the, uh, at the Battle of the Seas, of, and at the at the Seas of Osaka, in, and, and later, and there was no there was no war. So, which means the war period in Japan was over. So there was no real fighting. So when he he wrote this goal in the show, it's been already thirty years. Was it's it's uh, forty years since the Edo government was established, and even the last thirty years since the last last the, the last battle of the samurai. Uh, the seeds of Osaka happened. So it's been very, very peaceful moment. So I think why Musashi decided to write the Gore in the show is that at, I'm sure at this time, you know, there are so many Kenjutsu dojo or like a sort and a soul style dojos flourished everywhere in Japan. And they talk about a lot of theories and lots of like kata form or you know they they talk, you know talk. many people just open their dojo and start you know gathering the students talk about their theory and logic but Musashi was kind of disappointed about how those soul fighting dojo and the, the Kenjutsu dojo was forged because uh, people they don't know anything about the real fighting you know so I think this going in the show is not designed or right for his own students to talk about his secret. I think going in the show is more to the older people that you know who attend the, the Japanese swords and the Kenjutsu or Iai or at that time only they only say Heiho. Heiho means the combat skill. Tell talk about that's whatever you study is just a theory or a logic. And he wanted to share his experience. This is a real fighting. Uh, this and this is a real soul fighting. Or this is a real situation in the combat. You know, when you are going to kill your enemy, or when or enemy are going to kill you. And he wanted to share that. It's very important to share that his experience, how he survived, or how he won or those battle. So. The Gore in the show, that's why Gore in the show is not written in Kanbun, which is Chinese style Japanese, which only designed for like a higher rank people or higher rank samurai. He wrote in Japanese, he wrote in Gore in the show, uh, Gore, in, Gore in the show in typical Japanese reading, reading at the time, you know, so which means everybody can read it, you know, as long as he, the people has the minimum, you know, knowledge of writing, which, um, uh, it's in, in, in Japan at the time, everybody, I mean, far, even farmers could read, you know. So, it's not for like a samurai or his student, it was for everybody. That's why actually there's, they made so many duplications in going in the show. 
and you know everybody in Japan could read it. You know, if it was only like high secret scroll that only students can read, then going to show would never flourish in this that way and uh, this way today. You know, that's the going to show's purpose. So I think Musashi was. One, Musashi wanted to you know, share his experience to survive or what the battlefield is, a real combat is, to new generation who does not, who not, who knows nothing about the, the the real the real fighting. That's why also in the first the scroll of the Earth, and it, which is introduction with his, the Earth start with his introduction on why he started writing God in the show. He, at the end, he was strongly mentioned that uh, he is not going to use any religious war or like all classic, you know, strategy books war, you know, as a, as a, as a like, uh, reference. Because it's even happened today, but at the time, people use the religious war or all the classic the, the the strategy books or combat books like Sun Tzu and uh, to make their world more powerful so that's happened it's it that's even still happening today God said this or his the famous priest said this he didn't say that he said he strongly mentioned he's not gonna use it so which means everything on his scroll is based on his experience it's on his own world, not from religious, not from history. That's that's his strong determination to tell that. So and he wrote it. So which is very important to understand and understand understand the going the show and why he wrote this going the show. Uh, the reason I want to share this because you know I'm 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 doing my uh, my swordmanship, Iaido and Kenjutsu for many years now. I'm I'm just about getting to the main, uh, get getting to getting the main kyokaiden for Muso Jikiden Eshindu, and I also uh, shoot some movies, especially samurai movies. And when I shoot the samurai movie, uh, please watch it. You know, I put the links down below or somewhere here. <laughs> you know, it's called The Lonings. I'd like to talk. I'd like to express more about. The, the understanding of the real battlefield in samurai era, not the fantasy from, you know, uh, you know, the typical Japanese classic movie. I'd like to make it my samurai movie more realistic, and it's very important to understand what the real soul fighting is, and by understanding the Musashi's going in the show because he wrote everything about the truth of the real battlefield. This is why I started to talk about this going in the show understanding. Thank you for watching this introduction. And um, from uh, next, we will uh, start from the Gorina Show, the Earth, you know, which is the the first the first the first Gorina Show scroll. And I'm going I'm going to introduce one by one section and translate in my understanding of Japanese. And let me into uh, let me just break it down for each one and what's the meaning or what the Misashi wanted to say about in the in the show. Uh, this is the, this is what I'm what I'm going to do with it. So please keep watching it. Thank you for listening. So see you in the next videos. Please watch Toshi's Samurai movie The Ronins. It's available on Amazon Prime Video. The main character uses Musashi's net Nichi Lu. There are so many sword fighting scenes. Also other Samurai movie Aduchi, The Revenge of Samurai, is available, too.